Swimcall and the NGC CNG company have signed an MOU towards the first step in capturing methane gas from landfills and using that to power vehicles. NGC CNG President Curtis Mohamed believes this intended project will not be a difficult one to capture landfill emissions, given that this country has a very high level of waste being produced per capita. Sunil Ala reports. The outcome of this project creates for us the possibility to capture the landfill gas, clean it up and treat it so it meets the specifications for vehicular use, and then use that gas to fuel vehicles. It's not yet solid plans, but the first step has been made with the signing of an MOU for this country to harness the high level of landfill emissions. A feasibility study will be conducted to see how plans could move ahead, but if done, Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez estimates that a high percentage of emissions could be captured. It is estimated that landfill gas energy project will capture roughly 60 to 90 percent of the methane emitted from the landfill. This methane can be used as a valuable economic and clean energy resource. Meanwhile, the NGC CNG president Curtis Mohammed says most developed countries in the world are already capturing emissions to be used for mobility, and as such, he believes it's time for this country to catch up. And it's pretty standard to see methane being collected and being used for either energy or for mobility. In our particular case, we expect that one of the major uses for it, because it'll probably yield the best returns, and we'll study that, is going to be for even adding into the CNG program, where there's renewable natural gas. Energy Minister Stuart Young says following the signing of the MOU, a feasibility study will be conducted and urged both parties to move swiftly towards moving the process along. In addition to helping reduce carbon emissions in this country, he believes it will help create commercial opportunities in the energy industry. Sunolala, TTT News.